Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm live here in downtown Seneca at uh, what's going to be a very fun evening. Jazz on the alley, getting ready to get kicked off. We've got some great music, some great food. Come on down. You got a good treat tonight because the weather is fantastic. Although you can kind of feel something in the air. It's changing drier, cooler winds moving our way. It's hard to believe now two years. We're two years removed since the big EF3 tornado that went through just about a mile or so from where I'm at here in downtown Seneca. I want to bring in the city administrator, Scott Mulder. Scott, so good to be here. I tell you, Seneca has a very special place in my heart. How are you guys doing here after two years? Well, first of all, welcome back. We're so glad the key to the city works, getting you back <laughs> it in. It in works, the yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, we're doing well. The, you know, people wouldn't believe, but we are still dealing with the tornado even yeah. two years after. Um, you know, just dealing with FEMA, you still got a lot of paperwork just to get your, you know, your reimbursement back under the FEMA programs. You know, our, our tree canopy is completely destroyed. Yeah. You know, when you yeah. walk through, so we've had three tree giveaways and we have another one tomorrow as a matter of fact wow. shaver uh, giving away free trees trying to you know replant some of those uh, trees we lost during the tornado I gotta tell you events like jazz on the alley and to be back out at, at these type of events have got to do a lot for the camaraderie and just Seneca strong in general I tell you what the tornado if it did anything it brought this community closer together and you know that camaraderie that feeling of community you're talking about um, it had that lasting effect and we've seen it for the last two years and we continue to see it at events just like this Scott, we're so excited. Glad the weather's cooperating here. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for all you do for us and what you did for us during 2020. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yes, sir. weather's behaving today, which is certainly very some good nice. news. Yes, and let's talk about that weather because, boy, oh, boy, we've got a beauty on the way, albeit you can hear the winds here. You can feel it out. As we take a look at the satellite and radar, the rough weather is to our south. You have no concerns tonight. Not one of those nights you need to stay up for. We're talking clear skies, but windy, and those winds will blow in some change tomorrow. You'll need the jacket if not the coat tomorrow. Those winds right now gusting up to 30, 45 miles per hour. The sustained winds, which you see here, up around 15 to 20. You can see the cooler airs moving into the mountains. We've got 50s starting to show up, and that is going to spread across the entire area. We've got 73 in Greenville, 72 across Spartanburg and Gaffney. A different story tomorrow morning when you're waking up and getting out the door. We're going to see temperatures falling down to the 30s in many locations, and we're talking about mainly clear skies moving our way. So what you're going to see tomorrow as we look at the forecast hour by hour is temperature struggling to get out of the 50s. Yeah, we're rewinding the clock a bit where temperatures should be in late February. Yeah, going to be almost uh, 15 degrees below normal and it will be windy. So that 58 will feel more like the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Look at our high temperatures tomorrow. We've got 40s and low 50s across the mountains in the upstate upper 50s to lower 60s, depending upon where you live. It's going to be a beautiful day. We'll have some sunshine in many areas, but the wind that's what comes in strong. And for the mountains, you've got a different story. Some rain and even some snow showers. Yeah, I said the S word here in April. We're talking snow moving into the mountains. In fact, a winter weather advisory in effect for the northwest side of the mountains there on Tennessee, where six inches, yeah, six inches will be possible at some of the highest elevations. Let's take a look at your four day plus right now. We've got some sunshine, breezy conditions on the way tomorrow. Really a beautiful day around town. Some extra clouds move our way on Saturday. I've issued an impact day for Saturday and Sunday with frost possible each of those mornings. We do recover nicely though. Next week, get this sunshine back to the 70s.